Welcome to uh, another instalment in our Access Database Movie Magic Project uh, video series. In this video, we're going to learn about making a query. Now, a query is something that you can do with the database to find out about the data that's um, in your database. Essentially, you know, if you've got a query, you're asking a question of the database. Um, so we're going to start off with um, a simple query that will just uh, help us to find all of the actors that are American in our database. So to start off with making a query, go to Create tab, and then we just click on Query Design. It's going to ask us which tables we want to use. Well, for just a simple query about actors, all we need to do is choose the actors table. So double click on that, and we can close our tables dialog now. And now you can see our actors table. And here we have the different fields that we can use in our query. So we want to show, let's say, the actors' first names, surnames, um, let's take their gender, their nationality, and their Twitter names. But crucially, I have a criteria. And I want the nationality of the actor to be American. So I simply have to, in this criteria row, in the nationality field, I can just type in American. When I've pressed enter, it puts little quotes around it just to say I'm looking for that word. So that's our query set up. We can now run it by pressing the run button. And you'll see now we have a list of, get rid of that message, we have all of our actors that are in our database who are American. And we could do the same thing if we wanted to find uh, all of our actors, let's say, who um, would be of any other country. Uh, we could find all of our male or female actors in a similar way. All you would need to do is make a query um, which, which had a, a filter or a criteria under gender of male or female, and it would show us our male or female actors. And that's all there is to making a query. So I want you now to go away and try and make a query of your own and uh, then we're going to look at doing a slightly more complicated query in just a second. Oh, one thing I didn't tell you, we need to save this query. So if you now go to the save button, it'll ask you to give it a name. Well this one gives us American actors, so let's save it as American actors. Right, there we go. Now we've saved, we have our query saved and uh, I'd like you to go and do the same yourselves. You should now have made your American Actors query, uh, and we're going to make a new query that will ask the user, every time it's run, whether they want male or female actors. So we're going to make a, a new query, so we'll go to Create, and Query Design again. And I just want to know the information about actors. So again, I just put my actors table in, and I can choose the information I want. So I'd like their first name, their surname, uh, their date of birth, their oops, didn't mean to click there, their gender. Uh, might as well take their nationality as well. Um, I'll leave Twitter name because it's mostly empty. Right, and here instead of saying equal to male which would give us, um, or oh, I should put that in quotes, that would give us just all male ones if we ran that. So you can see that's giving us all male. If I go back to design, I could change it to female. If I <coughs> change this and put a square bracket um, and then type, please enter a gender, and then close the square bracket, enter. Now when I run my query, look what happens. It's asking me to type a gender in as I run it. So I could type male, press OK, and again, it gives me my male actors. Or if I go back and run it again, I could type female, press Enter, and it gives me my female actors. And this could work for any of those fields. So I could have done, please enter a surname or enter a first name, and I could find all of the actresses with the same first name. I could have done it with nationality. <clears throat> so instead of being hard-coded that we get American um, actors, 
I could have made it that you could type in the nationality every time you ran the query and it would give you um, whatever you typed in. So that's called um, a parameter. Um, it's, a, it's where you specify the criteria at the time of running your query. And the key is we use these special square brackets before we write our prompt message. And then we close our prompt message off with, if we look at the end, another square bracket. Ooh, can't quite see it. Dear. Another square bracket at the end. You have to trust me, it's there. Oh, here we go. I can expand this, can't I? There we go. It'd be easier to see now. So you can see I've got square brackets at the front, I've got my text, and I've got a square bracket at the end. Okay, so go and do the same. Come up with a parameter-based query um, about your actors. Now that you've got your American actors and your uh, actor gender query, I'll show you that running again, um, we're now going to make a query that does a little bit more uh, complex filtering. So I'd like to do a... Uh, an, an actor's query that finds all of the actors who are younger than 30 years old. So we're going to do create a new query, so query design. I'm going to use the actors table and I'm going to put in the actor's first name, surname, date of birth, gender, nationality and Twitter. And what I'm going to do, where it says criteria for date of birth, if they are 30 then that means that they must have been born or younger. Let's see, it's the 7th of December today, 2016. So we'll be looking at 1986. So as long as they are, their date of birth is greater than the 7th of the 12th, 1986, then they should be under, or I could do greater than or equal to. So this should be everyone who's 30 and younger. So let's run this now and see who we get. Here we go. So, born in 1987, 1992, 1989, these people are indeed younger than 30. And it's given me all the actors and actresses whose uh, date of birth is greater than or equal to the 1st of, um, no, the 7th of December, 1986 which would make them 30 today. So uh, why don't you go and do the same thing, see if you can make one that will give everyone who is over 30 as well as under 30, and see if you can do something with that. For our final video on queries, I'm gonna show you how to make a query that takes data from more than one table. So I would like to have a, uh, a table that shows me all of the actors and their films that they're linked to. So to do this, we can use create again. I'm going to create a query. And this time, I'm going to need all three tables because they're all involved in linking actors and films together. Close. Uh, but the data I actually want to show is just the actor's first name, surname, date of birth, uh, sure, gender, nationality, Twitter, and the film name and the years of release. All I'm doing there is double-clicking on each of the fields that I want in each table. And if I just run that very simply, that will give me all of the actors uh, that have got films linked to them in my link table. So I press run. You can see, here we go, we've got several for Eddie Redmayne because we put those in in the first video. Felicity Jones, Daniel Radcliffe in there. Um, that's fine. That's already a really useful query. And in fact, we can save that. Um, as actors and films query. But we can also add a bit more um, data to this, or a bit more sort of filtering, I should say. For example, let's see, we want to see all the actors and their films for films that were released before 2015. Well, to do that, we can go back and edit our query <coughs> and simply get our criteria for the year of release and say, if we want it before, it's got to be less than 2015. If I run it now, it's changed and filtered the amount of films that I have because only these films have a year of release before 2015. We could have done a different criteria. We could have done one where I have 
just the female actors who I've got linked to films. And there's only one that I've actually linked to a film so far. Um, but you can see how it works. All you need to do is choose whichever filter um, field, sorry, you wish to filter on, and then put your criteria in the criteria list. <clears throat> so what I'd like to do now is make your own multi-table query that pulls in data from more than one table and maybe make two or three. Maybe you could have one that asks you for the, the, the year of the film's release. So actually when you run it, it says, well, what year do you want to see films from? And you could type in 1991 or 2001. We can use that parameter that we learnt about in the previous videos. Or you can make one a query to show you all the men and save another query to show you all the females. You could have a query um, that gives you um, all of the actors who don't have a Twitter name associated yet so that you can make sure that you add those in. It's up to you. You can choose however you want to do your filtering. I just want to see you make a query that uses multiple tables and one of the filtering techniques that I've shown you so far, either putting in a hard-coded value or a greater than or less than value or a parameter value where the user types that in at the time that the query is run.